Hi, I'm Fernando Pereira from UFMG in Brazil, and today we shall talk about the static single assignment representation of programs. This is a way to represent programs that's fairly used in mainstream compilers, and it's probably one of the most important ideas in the field of compilers. We shall call this representation SSA form for short. LVM, for instance, uses programs in static single assignment form. If you want to see how these programs look like, we can generate their CFGs with just a few keystrokes. You can see the comments in this figure. So, for instance, for this program on the top left, we have two versions of it. On the right, we have a version with all the variables mapped to memory. On the left, we have a version with variables mapped to registers. On the left, on the bottom, I mean. And in this version, we have a special kind of instruction called a phi function that you can see right here. That's the iconic mark of SSA form programs. But what's SSA form then? The key property of programs in static single assignment form is that each variable has just one definition site in the program. These definitions correspond roughly to the assignments that we see in the source code. But you can assign the same variable at multiple different locations in the program source code. In SSA form, there is only one location per variable assignment. Before we discuss this representation further, notice that it was introduced in the late, late 80s, um, early 90s. It's not clear what's the paper that first talked about it. There are a few candidates, and one of them is the paper by Citron et al. They published their work in 1989, and then extended version in 1991, this time in Toplas, a very important journal in programming languages. So what's the meaning of this name, SSA form? Basically, it means that each variable has just one assignment location in the program. That's the meaning of static in the name. Notice that this location can be executed multiple times. For instance, in this example, on the bottom of the figure, we have that variable i and variable s have both two assignment locations in the program. i is assigned, for instance, at L0 and at L4. Variable x, on the other hand, has just one assignment site, so it is in SSA form. But notice that this site's within a loop, and the assignment might happen multiple times during the execution of the program. So dynamically, the variable is assigned many times, whereas statically, x has only one assignment site. And with this brief explanation, we close our first foray in the subject of static single assignment form. In the next class, we shall see how to convert a program to this representation. So there, feel free to write me with questions and suggestions. Thank you.